What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Chuck Finley here. Chuck Finley here with us play Sly Two Band of Thieves Part Fifteen. Uh, we are about to begin Operation High Road, and I paused here because I was going to get in, get into position, but then Sly started talking, so I didn't want you to miss it. And so I I didn't. You've only missed Sly saying "Hey, Murray," and so I'll begin now. I guess, uh, hey, hey, Murray, get to the top of the castle. That's yeah, so my bad. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just want to be careful for the spotlights as usual. for me. these things. So it's not quite as easy as I was kind of hoping it would be, but uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely not nearly as hard as I thought it would be either. But these tanks are definitely presenting a problem. Uh, you have to watch out. You definitely have to pay attention to where they are and watch out for them, especially in, and, the, in the, and the missiles as well. Pretty much just watch out for everything. Knock out the tanks first. Get rid of those, and you can keep focusing on the nodes. Uh, let me see. Just be careful. There we go. That should do it. Not too difficult. This is a story-related trophy, so you don't have to worry about that.
this will probably be a more advanced version of the chases that we've had to do so far. Chief Prop. She isn't going to stop, and you have to keep following her. This is this is going to be the, the difficult part. And I believe all, you, the only thing you can do is just... I believe the only thing you can do is just wait until you get to a certain point, and then you can... Uh, and then it will be story-related after that. I don't believe there's any way you can uh, catch her before then, sadly. Just want to be careful. She will try to do, st do stuff like this. I'm, I'm actually surprised she jumped down the well. Yeah, see, I, I keep hitting her with my cane, and there's nothing I can do. And I can't, I can't st uh, steal the clockwork eye from her. This isn't too far away. So she, you can still see she has the yellow sparkles behind her. So that helps determine where she is. Uh, you definitely want to be very careful if you were falling right behind her. That would definitely have hit you. Well, where'd she go? I don't think there's any checkpoints anywhere, so if you do fail, you'll have to start all the way over from the beginning again. Zoom in with the left or the right analog stick, and uh, you just shoot with the R1 button. You move around with the left analog stick like usual. Thankfully, the planes go down pretty quickly. Again, you just want to tap uh, tap the R1 button. You don't want to hold it down, especially because the planes go down pretty quickly. Well, you can actually hit them, but because they move, you want to try to lead the shots. Uh, kind of like 
with the helicopters. Sadly, it seems like you can actually break parts of the, the plane off instead of just immediately destroying them. But I think uh, you just wait. You know, you wait for her to, to move or to, to dodge. Or I mean, you wait for her to attack and then you just dodge. See, Carm if you if you heard, Carmelita stole the uh, Clockwork Eye from uh, Bentley. I wonder if this is actually doing anything. Seems to be. trying to concentrate on driving. I don't think there's a point where the uh, Carmelita can get too far away. Oops. Uh, I, 
think she just keeps driving around in pretty much the same pattern. So over, you know, over time, once you learn the pattern, uh, you can kind of figure out where you need to go. At least I think that's the way it, the way it works. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because this is the this is the bridge that I went around and. Maybe not, maybe maybe it's just the stuff just looks familiar from playing the level normally. I shouldn't have to redo everything, I just, yeah, see, so just redo this fight. I guess that doesn't do anything, sadly. That's the way she can stun you if you do get hit in that green beam. I've actually never been caught in it before, so it's the first time for me as well. So a little bit uh, harder and longer than I thought it would be. Well, as it seemed to to initially be. Sorry about the cut anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about the trivia for the few jobs that I've done, I guess for the Operation High Road. And, um, and so Operation High Road is the heist job for uh, a tangled web in slide 2. Objective start, a battle between Neela's and Contessa's forces as a distraction in order to, to free Carmelita and get the clockwork eyes. Uh, goal is defend the blimp, free Carmelita, chase Neela, battle the Contessa, disable con uh, Carmelita's tank, and then retrieve the clockwork eyes. So no trivia for uh, this battle or any notes or anything like that, so we'll go to a tangled web and I'll uh, uh, talk about all the stuff there. Let me see. A tangled web is the fifth episode of Sly 2, Band of Thieves, and the main antagonist is once again the Contessa. So there's uh, eight jobs in this one, and uh, let's 
can see the trivia. A grave can be seen in this area with the words R.I.P. Rocket. It is a reference to the protagonist of Sucker Punch's first game. They've developed Rocket Robot on wheels. The protagonist is a is the protagonist, of course, is Rocket. But there are other characters like a purple walrus named Whoopi and a raccoon named Jojo. The grave can be viewed within a close range using the Binocicom. Other gravestones have the full title of the game, which was Rocket. Rock, uh, rocket Robot on Wheels. This is the second time Sly tries to free Carmelita. Goose, when Carmelita is being hypnotized, her ponytail is going through the board, and the room where the wire tap and the vault is, the platforms hanging from the ceiling, isn't connected to the ceiling if you look closely at at the top. In Mojo Trap Action Mission, after the Binocicom chat, the sound of Murray landing is heard despite it only being Bentley on this mission. The voice modulator gave Bentley an English accent. Bentley's line, those are the Contessa's elite and Shadow Guard doesn't sound right. Guard should be plural. When Bentley hops on top of Sly's back, he shrinks a little. When the clockwork eyes are free, they split in two, but in the getaway, they're together and the eyebrow is on top of them. Also, both of the eyes are flat and have a border around them in cutscenes. When Eela runs away with a clockwork eye on the camera but focuses on Bentley, you can still see the clockwork eyes located in midair in the area where they were before they became separated, even though Neela has one of them and Bentley has the other. When Bentley goes to put the mojo collector on the mind shuffler, it is already on there, but Bentley moves his arm towards it like he's putting it on there. After Bentley hacks the third computer in the crypt, the computer is shown through the acid battery. When Murray shuts down the spotlights on the main bridge, the lights are off, but they're still moving. In the ghost capture mission, if you break everything in the room where the coffin is, when it blows up, everything will get destroyed again. When Bentley destroys all of the Neela's bombers, sometimes you'll see an another one still flying. They'll also be back after completing this episode. Same thing with con the contestant's blimp. The clockwork eyes are eye size are similar in the epilogue cutscene of this episode. Okay, so that's all the trivia and all the information for that. So, I thank you for watching the challenge. The video is how many hits did it take to kill uh, to get rid of the contessa or to kill the contessa in both the first fight and the second fight. I thank you for watching. Next time we will begin episode 6. So until then, later everyone.